What's up guys, this is Danny Matranga with Mind Pump TV and today I wanna go over one of the absolute best back exercises you can do for any fitness adaptation or goal you have and that is the bent over row, right? When we train our back, we're typically pulling. We have vertical pulls like pull-ups and then we have horizontal pulls like bent over rows. You should be doing both of these but execution is critical, especially if you wanna train safely and effectively. So let me go through this, show you the cues, things you should know, things to avoid, and some of my favorite trainer tips to performing the bent over row perfectly. Setup for the bent over row is critical. This is the case with all barbell movements. We wanna make sure that we prioritize execution over load. As for the setup, you wanna approach the bar exactly the way you would on a deadlift with the bar over the middle of your foot. Pick it up like you would on a deadlift, right? We don't, just because it's lighter doesn't mean we round our back and, and rush through it. I know plenty of people who've got hurt picking up a bent over row way lighter than their max deadlift. So respect the weight on the bar regardless of what it is. Pick it up like a deadlift and get into the starting position. From here, the big key, get your hips out of the way of the barbell. So we wanna do almost a Romanian deadlift to lower the barbell down to the second big point here, which is it should be right below the patellas. From here, we wanna make sure that our core is braced to support our lower back so it's not doing all the stabilizing. Making sure that our elbows and wrists are just below the shoulders and pulling up in a straight line. And it's gonna make contact wherever that might be for your torso length. So for me, it's right below my sternum here. For you, it might be a little bit lower. The one thing we don't want to see is you pull it up too high. So just pull it in a straight line, making sure that you get your shoulders all the way back and squeezed, all the way down, all the way back and squeeze. So again, from the bottom, deadlift into position, hips back out of the way, bar in line with the patella, straight line up, squeeze the scapula, pull the shoulders together, back down. Now that you guys have the basic form and execution down, I wanna dive into some of the more nuanced points, such as hand positioning and shoulder placement, elbow placement, where should all those things line up? So some people prefer to pull bent over rows with an overhanded grip. Some people prefer with an underhanded grip. They're both fine. The thing you need to do here is pick the one that works best for you and your body and which one feels the most natural. The second point, elbow placement. Something we cannot have when we do this is the shoulders and elbows too much in internal rotation. We don't wanna be in this position. It's very impinging. It's actually bad for the shoulder and you're gonna recruit a lot of traps. So keep the elbows back, whether you're in the overhand grip position or the underhand grip position and just pull so that the shoulders can fully retract. You'll notice if I'm here, I can't fully retract my scapula anyway. And given that the bent over row is a movement to train the lats, that's going to directly kind of run in opposition to what we're trying to do. If you've never done a bent over row before, you might find that a couple muscle groups might compete with your lats in terms of what exactly you're feeling while you're doing the movement. And those muscle groups might be the low back and then the bicep forearm, right? So the bicep and forearm are what you use to grip the barbell and the biceps actually also helps with the pull. So, if you're feeling your biceps and forearms too much, don't be afraid to regress the weight and choose a weight that you can really emphasize the lats. As for if you're somebody where the lower back might be flaring up a little bit, that's okay. I would recommend regressing out of the movement by either, again, lowering weight to a point where you don't feel your lower back or doing a different row variation like a cable row, a T-bar row, or even a one-arm dumbbell row on a bench where your lower back doesn't have to stabilize as much. Then just do some core work to get your core and back to the place they need to be to complete this lift safely. A quick note on sets, reps, tempos for specific goals. I always recommend doing any barbell work under control, right? So we wanna have a nice two second concentric, a nice pause at the top, a two second eccentric. However, if you're looking at building strength and power, you might experiment with a pendlay row, which is a different variation of the bent over row. Uh, if you're looking for hypertrophy or muscle gain, just follow that two second down, two second hold, two second up tempo. And if you're looking to improve your posture a little bit, pull your torso up and kind of prevent some of the shoulder rounding, 
I would keep the repetitions a little higher, maybe in the 15 to 20 repetition range with a very lightweight, focusing on feeling your lats pulling back the entire time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this valuable. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll be going through the comments periodically and answering questions and interacting with you guys as much as we can. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.